I've just landed after a huge three hour mission in this F-15 during Combat Archer here at Tyndall Air Force Base. This exercise involves firing live missiles over the Gulf of Mexico. It's incredibly important for us to get a weapon system evaluation of all of our munitions, whether it's air to ground munitions or air to air munitions, the combat archer uh, focusing on the, on the air to air piece of it to make sure that it works. When the nation calls on us to go and use those weapons, that it works. And, and not just the munitions themselves, but the whole machine that makes it go into the air. How do we and train our people to, to build the weapons correctly, how do we design them correctly, how do we load them correctly, all the kind of different things that need to happen so that when the pickle button's pushed and the training's done, uh, that the target blows up when it's supposed to. From, from day one, did they show up with the right stuff? Did they show up with the right equipment? Did they show up with the right training? Um, and where can we help them so that when they go and do this for real downrange, uh, they've, they've got some practice, they feel good about what they've been trained on, and uh, it's not their first time looking at it. It's kind of a certification before they head out the door uh, ready to go to combat. So I have a, an 82nd Air, Aerial Target Squadron, and they, uh, they run both my, my subscale drones that are running around, and they also run my, my full-scale QF-16 drones. When they're not doing the, the combat archers or the WESOPs, they're supporting uh, the joint test world for all, all kinds of different things, whether it's improving uh, field munitions or ones that aren't even uh, out of development yet. So they have uh, different things that they're able to do for uh, chaff and flare to, to simulate uh, enemy aircraft or enemy targets, as well as uh, electronic attack that they have on board to be able to, to simulate different things that, uh, that the pilots and also the missiles need to see uh, as, they're, as they're employing their tactics. Under U.S. Code Title 10, uh, there's a requirement to do uh, both developmental tests and operational tests. And part of that uh, requirement is to uh, take fielded weapons and use them, uh, test them, make sure that they work, they say, for uh, sustainability, for reliability, and lethality. And part of that is that we're required to take uh, what the, the code says is uh, combat configured targets that are combat representative and then to test fielded weapons to make sure the weapons we've already bought, the taxpayers already have paid for, that they work accordingly and they continue to work accordingly. Yeah.